Well, I did it. Uh, I like it better. It does open this up a lot. Like this whole area is now open. And so when you're standing, you know, over there, looking down, you see this entire area, you'll be able to see the monorails go through here. A lot of this thing is not blocking the view. And now this thing will have the ability to have supports to, and of course I have to figure that out, the supports on top. So, um, yeah, so I just added 12 a window and uh, more trans yellow on each side. So it's just, now I will actually have to take this thing apart because this, this thing cannot be one piece anymore because it's uh, too big. <laughs> so I will probably just take this one and so that'll come apart so I can store it better because this thing will not fit as it is into one of my crates outside. But in the end, that is, I think, better. And the, the curve comes around here. So that's going to be seen. It's not blocked by anything. This thing's not blocked by anything. This guy is blocked a little bit, but then again, you get it when it comes out over here. So I think that's good. I really do. Uh, for a couple nights work, and this is what I got. I, and I got to center this thing on this corridor, which I like. I like that a lot. I kind of put this superstructure around the actual lift. Um, not sold on it, but it's the best thing I can come up with right now, and I don't mind it. I mean, that thing will come apart. Uh, and, and straight up, I still have the original corridor that goes from there right to there. So if I don't like this at all, I just don't put it in. I just use the original corridor and not even worry about it. But as it is, I think this is pretty much done. It, um, <clears throat> I have to make sure it's level. I think it's got the same number of plates and bricks on both sides. I mean, again, it joins with the corridor over here as it always did. And it joins with it over there. So... You know, for, for, I've never really built moon base this way before. I built it in my, my, my MMMT, uh, layout, but, uh, not here. I just, again, I just had the one corridor going across. So working with the idea of, um, I don't know if I want to rebuild that and center that, but I do like that thing centered to the base plate, not necessarily along the corridor. So that's a debate, but. In the end, I think that's good enough for Canada, as my opa used to say. Good enough for Canada. So, I think it's time to wrap this up and uh, go spend some time with the fam. It's 10 o'clock. And um, I'm going to take this off the layout <laughs> because it is very precarious. It has this little tiny piece here holding the other side up. Uh, because, of course, I have the shelf there, so I can't push the whole thing back. So I do not want to lose that monorail base. And right now, basically, if it falls off, this whole thing falls off. And I don't think it'll take that thing. But, it, you know, you never know. So I don't want to do a lot of rebuilding like my poor friend Jeffy did at the show when uh, his castle decided to <clears throat> break apart en route to uh, Alabama a couple weekends ago. But um, shout out for Jeffy. I loved, loved, loved this castle uh, that he brought to Brick Fair, Alabama. I'm glad I got to see the pictures. Wished I was there. Uh, maybe next year. And we'll make a road trip, all of us. We'll all go down there at the same time. And I'll bring this. <laughs> so, in the end, everybody, stay safe. Take care. Um, I'm not going to probably revisit this this weekend. Maybe. It depends. Uh, I'm going to do some family time because I miss my family. What I do want to do is I want to get the uh, platform here and check out the monorail and see where it ends up. But... Um, I'm not going to do that now. So, everybody, there you go. <laughs>